Hey, what's up adventurers? Welcome to another MotoCam adventure video. Uh, this video I'm talking about the Nutmeg 400 rally, which was hosted by Max BMW in South Windsor. They're a good group of guys. Uh, they have a bunch of places all over New England. Anyway, uh, this is my first ever rally I've ever done. Uh, I went in completely blind. I have no idea what the hell I was doing when I, when I first signed up for it. I actually signed up for it and thinking it was a like 10 hour endurance ride and it totally did not turn out to be that way <laughs> so i showed up with my uh you know handheld gps and my cell phone and uh just the gpx files loaded into my G my handheld gps and basically didn't have any planned route set up or anything and i'll get into that later but i, I mean i was super new to this and i had learned quite a bit um I mean, I, and I had tons of fun too. I totally recommend you do a rally to get the chance. So just to go through the basics of rallies, you get what's called a rally book, and that has a bunch of different locations on it, usually with some sort of type of hint as to what it might be, what it actually specifically is. Sometimes it has an address, sometimes it doesn't. For instance, this one just said Shagbark. It's a Shagbark kennel, but you had to kind of, you know, figure that out that it was, that was what was the point. And, um, Basically what you do is you use your GPS files along with your intuition and figure out exactly where you gotta go. Now each location has a certain point value. The idea is to plan out a route in advance that gives you the best amount of point value for you know the amount of time you have to ride. In this case we were originally given a 10 hour window to ride within and if you didn't make it back to the max BMW we started at in time then you were either disqualified or you lost points or whatever depending on how late you showed up. Rallies are specifically a very individualistic type of game because if you were to do it with a group you would end up with the same point values and then tie in the end. However with that said I did see some guys ride with their wives usually riding two up so that's the exception to that point. Speaking of rules, there weren't really like a ton of rules because it's sort of supposed to be a friendly competition more than anything else and just a fun day of riding at the end of the day. I can see that the intent was sort of to get you to ride some dirt roads along with a lot of twisty roads and stuff like that because, it, you know, obviously you want a good day of riding and that's not going to happen if you just do a bunch of highway miles. And that sort of ties into the type of bikes that showed up too because you had a lot of adventure touring bikes and just big touring bikes as well. Anyway, without getting too wrapped up about the specifics, I came away learning a few things. One, have a good GPS setup, and don't try to use your phone to navigate along with your GPS. If you have too much of a weird system, it's not going to work. Two, plan your route ahead of time. Don't show up and just be like me where you just expect to go with someone else and then not find them, and then be kind of screwed and be by yourself. So, plan your route, be ready. Third, write everything and anything down that might be the correct answer to the question for that location. I lost a lot of points for not answering correctly, and I still drove to all those points, and I just lost all that time. And usually it was because I didn't write down the full answer to a question. Lastly, go to have fun. Your first time you're never going to win, even your second or third time. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already for more stuff like this.